Coffee? Tea, green tea. No, uh, I'm drinking hot water. Hot water. <laughs> yeah, I, I drink. I drink uh, green tea yesterday. Uh, mixed up with cayenne pepper. Um, ginger. Thyme spice. Mm, what else? Um, honey, honey and lemon juice. And then lemon, yeah. Yeah. So uh, Jim, is how hot is it? How much cayenne? Just a tiny bit of cayenne? Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. Not so much. Yeah. That sounds good. The body loves it. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's been uh, following your advice out in, for in the forest a couple of ways. The trees, <clears throat> you know, instead of looking at the trees, I just uh, look through the trees, I guess. <laughs> you know, patterns that they form have been more sort of uh, yeah, I don't know how to say it. Maybe not concentrating so much on what what is being seen, but still using it kind of deliberately as a portal to the unseen. Somehow when I'm out there, by focusing on the stillness and the air and so forth. And then when things start to accelerate, starting to focus inside, more based on your recommendation and <clears throat> you know particularly once I've been looking at these mesmerizing trees when I focus on the inside there's no place to focus on the inside you know it's just like this sort of black empty space or this just sort of ether you know feels like this nothing and then that's sort of a portal to being unmoored, free. Yeah. 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 I, it's 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 you know everything is is inside of you. Everything is within you. In a sense that uh, what you are is everywhere present. So all the appearances, anything that may seem to appear is appearing. The body is appearing in me. And the imaginary separate self that seems to own life, do this and that, is also an appearance. But what you are is not an appearance. It, it is that which is quiet, still, not moving, not trying, not expecting anything. It's not making any effort to be anything or become anything. It's just there. <laughs> it is effortless and obvious. So, and what seems to appear in it is also it appearing. So it's just everything, you know, it, it can never really be described. There is no description. I would say there can be a resonance, but nobody can, can get it. 
because it's everything. It's everything. It's what you are. Also, what you think you are not. It's everything. <laughs> so, it's just all there is. All there is can never be known. Can never be understood. Who, who, who's outside of all there is to understand all there is, to know all there is? <laughs> all there is is outside all there is. <laughs> so yeah, it's a beautiful, it's beautiful. So are you familiar with the, you know, the Big Bang Theory, obviously? But uh, uh oh, because it's just a, an expression of all there is. You just went out. All right. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear okay. you. Can you hear okay. me? I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, as I was saying, they can be uh, playing around with concepts that may seem to be happening. There may be a suggestion here that, uh, no, do this, don't do that. But that's okay too, because <laughs> it's just all there is. There is there's nothing. It, everything is beautiful. Every expression is okay, because really it's going nowhere. It's just what seems to appear in that which is not an appearance. So anything may arise, because there are no limitations. Yeah. So this somehow enjoys itself, you know, it enjoys all the, the ups and downs, the movement to the right, the movement to the left, you know. And the character as well is enjoyed, is enjoyed here. Superficial. Nothing is taken seriously. And already there's nobody who's living life. There's just life expressing as everything, as even some as as even you listening, as just as also just this talking. So it's just a uh, life. It's just how it expresses itself. It's got nothing to do with the uh, individual. There's no individual here who's listening, who's talking. It's just an expression of life. An expression of all there is. So nothing is personal. I woke up this morning uh, late. And realized that my uh, alarm had not gone off and my phone had not gotten plugged in. I'd stayed open a, up a little late to hear about Donald Trump. So I woke up and I was tired and I was groggy. And I had the distinct feeling like this is the first time I'd been in this body. <laughs> <laughs> Like this is a completely fresh mm. new day and that there's no there's no yesterday. Mm. And this is just like, whoa, okay, so this is new. It's like a <laughs> like a new used car. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so just a person who got a new used car, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's 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 always like that here. You know, everything is always new. 
no, there is no, yeah, everything is always new somehow. Because, you know, even, you know, yesterday, last week, is is just an imagination. It's more like you are having, when you are having a dream, the dream is always new. You don't remember. You don't remember in a dream that, oh, I, yesterday, there's no yesterday in the dream. <laughs> This, this morning when I was groggy, you know, when I was actually past the time to get up and I was having multiple dreams and wondering why, when the alarm was going to go off and not realizing that it wasn't going to go off. I had this dream and then I woke up a little bit and then I had some dream and I wondered, well, wait a second, what happened to that other dream? <laughs> <laughs> how come this dream's not connected to that dream i actually remember and then when i got up i thought well that was a funny thing but then i couldn't remember either dream <laughs> very <Yeah>. strange <laughs> so exactly like this one <laughs> yeah that's just what this life is spinning around Exactly. It's just a dream. It's just a dream. Today is it is an, just another dream. But remembering it may seem as if it's connected. No, it's not connected. There's no connection. Everything that seems to be happening today is the new thing. It's just another dream. <laughs> Yeah. Same as when you're dreaming, then we, we move from this dream to another different dream in a different location. Yeah. That's why uh, uh, what's happening is never the same. It's different. Today, something else is happening. Uh, uh, even though in in a same environment, but different different things have is gonna happen. Anything may arise, any problem to solve, beautiful thing happening. You know, so Jay. Yeah. So everything that's happening is also seen in this. Because it's seen from that place which is not happening. It's just the stable swatching without interest. Doesn't mind. I wouldn't say it doesn't care. It just doesn't mind. It just doesn't mind what's happening. Because what's happening is is arising from it. So it's beautiful. It's beautiful. There's no separate happening that is happening outside of it. Mr. Gadata would say, even you, God does not know. <laughs> yeah. But there's love. There's love deeply woven into it. And love is made of care, right? Yeah. You mean you mean love? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Love cares. <laughs> love might not mind, but love cares without preference, I guess. 
yeah he really it, it it doesn't charge it doesn't charge it doesn't it, it doesn't know the other it doesn't know the other so innocent so it's beyond any description I would say it's unconditional love. There are no conditions. There are no expectations. That things, if things, things should be in a certain way so that I, I can be okay with, with, what, with what's happening. No, it's just... <laughs> So in this seeing, even what seems to be the the local seeing, the body, is it is also seen. So. The local seeing itself, it may also seem that it's just, it's still this seeing that is everywhere present, appearing as that. So it's not separate from, from the totality. It's just one. There may be an imagination that, oh, I'm here. I'm here. I'm just seeing this, but this just an imagination. This just a thought. But the true seeing is everywhere present. It 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 extends beyond the walls of the house, beyond the the, the country, beyond the world, beyond even the beyond. Yeah, so what you are really it's 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 formless and everywhere present and empty. It's not a human being, it's not a man. It can never really be pointed to, can never really be known. You know. It's beyond we have this we have this theory about where everything came from called the big bang theory you know the big bang theory yeah yeah <laughs> well, they trace trace everything back and apparently you know they feel like it all came from a very very tiny spot a very specific amount of time ago that they think that they can trace and then there was just an explosion and everything kept on expanding out but you know then scientists got paranoid that, you know, now it's going to contract and we might go to the ball again. <laughs> but as they got better at science, they discovered, well, it's still expanding. And it, it seems to be accelerating. Right. <laughs> and for many years, they felt as if they had an idea of the extent of the entire universe like okay outside of this area there's nothing that they really thought okay there's nothing outside of this area but then what they've discovered recently is it's going so fast that the stuff on the edge what they're perceiving as the edge beyond which there's nothing is expanding faster than the speed of light away from us <laughs> <laughs> so the things on the other side of this barrier well it's not a barrier imaginary line are actually going that way faster than the light can come this way so the light never reaches us 
<laughs> Yet they're sure yeah. that they're right about everything coming from this little dot. And before then, there was just nothing and ever was, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't know why that I just decided to say that right then but this every uh, yeah everything outside of everything it's the idea of outside of everything you know what can be outside of everything there can never be nothing yeah. Yeah, it's it's an unending uh, exploration. If they were to explore um, in a spaceship, traveling faster than the speed of light, you know, <laughs> you can never reach the end. Right. You can never reach the end. You know, many of the stars that we see are dead. <laughs> <laughs> because by the time the light gets here they've already exploded <laughs> yeah I don't know I have a desire to go deeper into the spaciousness. I always feel like, <laughs> you know, I mean, so there's the trees and I, there's the trees. The trees are a powerful portal to me, right? I always feel like I want to feel myself outside of these walls, for example. I can't, <laughs> I can't seem to. Can't seem to feel myself outside of these walls. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, I can, I, I can, I can understand I'm not here. You know, I can feel that sometimes. And then there's the there's a floating perception, but I feel like I want to expand. It. And I know that's kind of ridiculous. You know, there's no reason to want. Yet. Yeah. For a good ten years, I've had that urge. Yeah, to astro you know, project. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they is a. If you want to do that, there is a portal. There is a portal within you, within the body. It's, it's, that's the, uh, that's the closest portal. <laughs> you can use just go within. There's a Go hyperspace button. <laughs> you know a hyper, what a hyperspace yeah. button is? <laughs> In video games, the button, the hyperspace button made you disappear and show up somewhere else. <laughs> when you have reached a certain level. <laughs> In the Something game. like that, yes. <laughs> Is there a recipe? Do you have a, do you have a recipe? <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, when I used to do an intense meditation, I would um, just uh, um, lie, lay on the bed and close my eyes. And just watch as the <clears throat> the sleepiness is coming, but I would never sleep. Just watch it comes, and then when 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 it comes, and then I just don't sleep. By doing that, uh, I would find myself like floating. Outside the body, you know, going, traveling to, to different locations and come back. Yeah, I actually read a book about it about 25 years ago. 
Yeah. And uh, that's very similar to how they describe it, you know, when you're going to sleep. Um, they didn't describe it as well as you described it. You know, the weight, the weight of your tiredness takes you down and then you can just lift your spirit up. But if you just think of it as watching yourself go to sleep, that's a totally easier thing to do. Yeah. 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 Don't don't sleep. Just just watch every, everything as it happens. Don't sleep. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't panic. Yeah, it, it may seem as if uh, you really <laughs> you're about to die. So there may be a sinking feeling happening. Yeah. Sinking as if you are sinking within yourself. Or there may be a, like there is a thunder, there's a lightning sound like Poof. I think that's how uh, uh, the, the 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 spiritual body disconnects with the, the physical, hmm. or the light body it disconnects in that way. There may be a large sounds. <laughs> Sometimes there may be that sinking feeling, as if you are. That's what they described in the book, Beautiful. the sinking feeling. Yeah. Yeah. That's what happens. I, 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 there is an experience of that here. During those intense meditations, I would, you know, these, these things would happen. But uh, right now, uh, there is no sort there's not so much interest in that, you know, just if it happens, it happens, you know, it just doesn't mind, doesn't mind. But life doesn't end. Yeah. Interest is an interesting thing. It's fla it's uh yeah fickle. I find myself like doing stuff and then be like, yeah, I'm not interested in that anymore. Let's go do something else. <laughs> <laughs> and it's sometimes it seems like the interest is not altogether for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Almost like there's a path. The interest is actually taking you on a path, a journey, following your interest is. Yeah. It's part of the journey. An interest is not for. Exactly. An interest is not for the person, as we are saying. The interest is for, it's for you, it's for everything, it's for this. It's just this experiencing itself. So it, it may be interested in going that direction. And then it may find itself no longer interested in that direction, taking another road. You know? So <laughs> it's just this experiencing itself. It's got nothing to do with uh, the, the separate self, because there is no separate self, really. It's just this. In whichever way it may appear, it's just a totality. You know? So everything is beautiful. If you want to go bungee jumping, you no, know, that's a, that's beautiful too. It's just this experiencing itself. So yeah. you may explore life the way you want. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't <laughs> it's beautiful. 
me wanna astral project, visit other planets, visit other dimensions. The story, it's it's okay. It's beautiful. <laughs> You want to meet so-called deceased uh, relatives. So. <laughs> so I saw District 9. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd already seen it. I think I'd seen it on a plane. Um. Oh, I told you that already. Yeah, I, I messaged you that. <laughs> Uh, Mitchell and Melissa and I watched it. Yeah. Did we enjoy it? <laughs> I liked it a lot. Uh, particularly the beginning part was so funny. <laughs> 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 you know, just a, it was just a really biting satire of, of how idiotic our decisions are you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah you it just seemed very very realistic you know obviously the racism yeah. or you know the metaphor for racism and yeah and in the end you know the the the, the being becomes what he hates you know Comes his enemy. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I watched it for the first time. I really enjoyed it. It was back in uh, two thousand and nine. I think I watched it in the cinema. Yeah. I... <laughs> so that was the before you time. Know, yeah, yeah. It's... I think I was still in the church, though, but it's saving. Yeah, because I I love sci-fi a lot, especially the ones that have to do with the traveling in space, going to other planets. Even when I was young, I was so interested in that. I don't know why. So. My dad, when I was a little kid, was part of the um, a movement in the 70s that thought, you know, we were all going to try to go to space. That, you know, we were going to destroy the Earth so that it was time for people to start planning on going to space. <laughs> And it was a very large kind of hippie movement that, you know, a lot of people involved with NASA and stuff um, felt that way. So when I would go to bed, he would tell me space stories that all took place on a space colony. <laughs> Apparently, I never wanted to go to sleep. So he said he would tell me these long, boring stories. <laughs> <laughs> but it really inspired my imagination because you know he would always kind of you know they were like star trek basically you know they you know it's like a hippie commune version of star trek they'd always have some sort of <laughs> moral story and moral to the story and you know everyone was in a colony and helping each other out and helping with the farming on mars or whatever <laughs> It was yeah. that really sparked my imagination, yeah. Yeah, it was beautiful. I mean uh during the seventies. Yeah. I was alive during I was alive for all of the seventies, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. born at the end of sixty nine, so yeah. Nice. Interesting times. Yeah, I mean, that was a beautiful time. And, you know, my dad, 
was into Lao Tzu and Eastern religions and meditating and Zen Buddhism and baking bread and eating health foods and all these really great things that, you know, people have gotten into more in the last 10 or 15 years, but we're vegetarian. My dad was vegetarian when I was a kid. We didn't have a television. We didn't have a car. <laughs> Very unusual for Americans not to have TVs or cars. So, of course, we didn't have any money either. So that <laughs> made that easier. <laughs> yeah. Nice times. So your dad was interested in uh, going out of space. Like, uh, so he worked for NASA? No, no, he was a cab driver. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Thanks. He was putting his life together after um, a uh, bad alcohol problem. So he quit drinking when I was real young and put his life back together. Eventually just became extremely religious. He's still extremely religious. You know, he says the rosary every day. And yeah, so that was nice. It was a nice thing that he was able to hand to me. He doesn't get what I'm talking about. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> what do you usually talk about? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you know, if I start talking about, you know, Eastern stuff or if I start talking about... He's very, he's very, you know, God has a plan. I'm implementing God's plan, you know. Uh, I don't know what my plan is. So I have to hand myself over to God, you know. His metaphors are not my metaphors, you know. Yeah. Of course, how can anybody be right? But there was a, uh, an Indian mystic who was Catholic named Anthony DeMello, who was really right on. And he got kicked out of the Catholic Church in the uh, uh, 80s. And uh, and then he died. <laughs> but my dad was a big fan of him, and that was a, that's been a nice portal for him. That isn't too, too different, I think, than like Krishnamurti or that kind of a person. And it's nice because he's Christian, so it's it's a similar vocabulary. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you'd like him. Let's try to find some of his do you uh do you ever watch YouTube things or anything like that? Yeah, at times I, I would watch. When when uh, when uh, I want to check the, the the videos that I posted, they, yeah, I do sometimes watch a little bit and then. Do you have interest in listening to other spiritual teachers? <laughs> <laughs> you got all you need. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, at times I would listen to some of the things, or just listen, but. It never really. It does. I, I don't. It's not. It's not a, a strong. I don't have that desire to watch. Mm -hmm. You know, I would watch some. Then, just for that moment. And then, yeah. There's no. There's no interest really. There's no interest. Yeah. I don't have much interest either. You know, I've I've got these. Three things that I do spiritually. I talk to you. 
meditate every day and I read Nisargadatta every day. And I feel like that's, I don't really want to do anything else. You know, I really look forward to all three of those things, you know, and that's fine for my journey, but I don't really have to find somebody else saying something a similar way, or I don't have to, I, this is, this is what I want to do. You know, <laughs> I, the, I'm, I'm positive that this, uh, will bring me to where I'm already at, so to speak. So. Yeah, I mean, this, this, what we talk about, it's already, it's already here. It's already here, even before any word, words may be spoken. So it's, it's already the case. It's already the case. It can never really go anywhere, even though at times there may be a feeling that, oh, it's not here. I don't feel it. But that's just an appearance, and it can only be an appearance. If something that's, if something says, I want to get it, that's just an appearance in it. <laughs> yeah. If something is trying to to align, to fix, to get to a certain position, it can only be an appearance in it. But it's a, as it is, it's not an appearance. It's not even an it. It's just, it's just here. Effortless. There's no efforts. If there seem to be an effort going on, and that can also what's can also be what appears in it. <laughs> so it's as it is as it as it is, there's no efforts that can be made. But there may be something that wants to see it. So then efforts may seem to be made. But that thing, as it is, is also it's appearing as that. So, it really, it, it, it doesn't mind. It doesn't mind. All expressions are already it. So, if there is seeking happening, it, it, it's allowed to be as it is, without judgment. When I go to the left, when I go to the right, when I go up, when I go down, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Because it's going nowhere. There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to get to. Already. But going somewhere may just be seen as just an imagination. Or it's going out. Oh, can you see me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, yeah, you're all right. <clears throat> yeah, you were coming through. Yeah. Yeah. Going somewhere. Somewhere. Doing this and that. Maybe seen as just an imagination. That may seem to appear in its the journey is imaginary. The journey to this is an imagination. So this is is not going anywhere. It's not moving. It's not trying. It's not expecting. It's not desiring. And questions may seem not to arise. They may seem to arise if there is a belief, a strong belief in the, in this 
imagination in this uh, idea that I'm this person. I was born one day. I'm living life. Question may seem to arise. But that it when that is seen as just nothing, then questions don't arise. But when questions do arise, that too can also be totality as pressing as that. So it's not to say it's good or bad, it's just what's happening. And in the, the, the expression itself is beautiful because it, it, is, it doesn't come from outside of this. It's just within this. It's just this as pressing as that already. How to be as it is without <laughs> your uh, you would you just said. <laughs> He's allowed to be his fist. <laughs> <laughs> it slowed, slowed way, way, way down, and then it sped up. <laughs> this is a disconnection sometimes. <laughs> yeah. the, the connection is, uh, is, is trying to emphasize your point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Yeah. You are what you are looking for already. Yeah, it's very funny. These, these discussions have helped me relax. That notation that you know you are what you're looking for already. So it's the spiritual journey is it's not a journey. That's <laughs> this is not a journey. This is a uh, this is a um, an attitude adjustment. <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is learning. This this is a this is learning how to look. You know, look in a different way. You know, so. That's a uh, that's helped a lot. Yeah. That's something to be obtained. You know, it's not a superstar thing that's just for Jesus and Buddha, you know. And Nikosi. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when when it's uh at times uh, when it is recognized, there may be that uh, feeling that, wow, all these books, all these books that are written, you know, <laughs> they're just written just for this. You know, it's it's very funny. <laughs> it's... it's Yeah. Hmm. I used to think I used to think of uh 
you know, when my dad was reading me the Tao Te Ching when I was a little kid and so forth, I used to think of little pieces of spiritual wisdom as like jewels, you know, like intellectual jewels, you know, and I would sift through and find secrets to how the world worked. <laughs> secrets to how the world worked were locked in these teachings and maybe that's true i mean maybe that has been true for me but my attitude was i'm gonna get these jewels because it's gonna help me live my life better <laughs> you know yeah in the mystery of cause and effect you know Maybe that's true. Maybe it did, but it still made the um, made it something to be gotten. You know, I think it was not until yeah. you know I found you through Michael's group that uh, you know we also have the argument. You know, the bridge. You need the bridge, or you don't need the bridge. But it made me it made me realize that that's it's not a matter of any of that, at least anymore for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I throughout uh, <laughs> through all the searching that may seem to happen, somebody going to to the to the top of the mountain going into the um, deep jungle jungle you know looking searching this as it is is always looking from behind those eyes you know it's just there <laughs> you know it's it's more like you go out there, look, digging up, digging up holes, going to the end of uh, end of the world, looking for gold. When we are done doing that, very tired, and then just when you you check your pockets. The gold that you're looking for has always been in your pockets. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, it's more like that. Somehow it's all the, the journey itself, as it is, it may happen just to get to the end of yourself. You no, know, it's beautiful as well. It's part of everything. So what would be the feeling when you go look for gold, you dig holes at 38 feet underground, and you look, you spend money doing this, you go up there, and only to find out that the gold has always been with you. So it's, it's, it's the same feeling when it is seen that You've always been yourself. You have never been anything else. Yeah, there's a metaphor for that, the, a similar metaphor that I think it's a Buddhist story about a man who's uh, uh, the son of a king. He's a prince, and but doesn't realize it, gets estranged from his, his uh, kingdom or whatever and goes his whole life, you know, without realizing that he's a prince. Wow. Because he's a beggar, right? And then, you know, all it took for him to be a prince was to realize that he was a prince. And then he has everything he wants. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, yes, the gold example. is here. The gold is here. 
Olması yani. Yeah. Somebody said in this Gatata in one of the one of his sessions, well, aren't you worried about food? You know, aren't you worried about health? And he says, the hunger brings the food. And the sickness brings the health. To relax and to yeah. yourself with the universe and have faith in that and to deliver, I think is very uh, healing. Because then you can just sit and be and quit imagining, as you say. Yeah, it's 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 already it's already it's already even beyond already. It's it's, it's it's what you are. Yeah, it's what you're looking for. It's what you. Are. Okay, and Kosi, I'm gonna so let that, you go. That how... Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, I was saying uh, if I uh, if I would recall, that's how it happened here. So it's like feeling it said, uh, oh wait, wait a minute, so uh, what is in myself? So at that moment, it was seen as just an imagination. That's the. <laughs> It was seen that the, the, the separate self was just an imaginary, an imagination, just just imaginary. <laughs> so it's never there. Yeah, yeah I think. <laughs> yeah, you got to take your auntie. To the bus stop. Yeah, <laughs> she's ready. <laughs> yeah, okay, say hi to her, and I'll talk to you next week. Uh, okay. Okay, thank you, Nkosi. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome.